Hello and welcome to my channel, My Big German Adventure. I'm Allie. There are some things about Germany that I just don't understand. I'm going to say the obvious. Not every person in every country acts the same way or does the same things. These are the things that I personally have observed after spending time in Germany. Germany seems to be a country that prides itself on being technologically advanced. Yet when you're driving anywhere, the cell phone service always seems to drop and you get that little E in the corner of your phone that stands for edge, which means you don't have service. A lot of Germans will do things in everyday life to appear to be very private people. For example, on Facebook, you oftentimes won't be able to look somebody up by the actual spelling of their name. You'll be like, oh, let me search for my new friend. Her name is Hildegard Janssen. Hmm, nope, I can't find her under that. Maybe I should try searching Jagelich Nesnaj. Oh, there she is. Because she wrote her name backwards. Or you try to find your friend, Anna Mueller and you can't find her. So you may try searching Anmu. You're like, Anmu, what? Yeah, that's the first letters of her first name and first letters of her last name. Yes, like A-N space M-U. But yet when it comes to something that seems very private and personal to you, like your body, the story is very different. A lot of Germans are very open about that. For example, you get to some place like the gym and you go into the shower there and it's just a big open room. There's no dividers in between, no curtains or anything. Another example is saunas. Along those lines, a lot of Germans super hate on the crack in the stall in American restrooms. And it's like, okay, so you'll shower in front of them, but you won't go to the bathroom when they can walk by and maybe see a fraction of you? I don't get it. Paying with cash instead of a card. A lot of places won't even accept your card. I am all about convenience. Instead of having to plan in advance to make a trip to the ATM or to the bank and pull out money, it's so much more convenient to just have your card. A lot of people argue that they're more conscious of their spending when they have actual cash to hand over rather than their card but I still don't get it. And actually things might be changing because last year was the highest number of people who had actually used cards instead of cash for transactions. So maybe it's on the rise. Appliances like refrigerators tend to be very, very small. And a lot of people will tell you that they're being energy efficient. However, a lot of people I know have multiple fridges then. If my math is correct, it seems like seven little fridges would equal or exceed one big fridge. Germans learn English very young in school. I've even heard people say that it's really cool to speak English, but they won't. Even though they all know it, they won't use it. Customer service is not about the customer. Paprika flavored everything. A lot of Germans take the love of Tommy Hilfiger to another level. Tampons without an applicator. Ladies, what if I told you dealing with your period could be more comfortable, faster, and less messy? And as for the environment, they do make cardboard ones and not plastic. And for those of you who are going to say, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Well, it's also not that big of a deal to pull out your old washing board and scrub your dirty clothes but you still have a washing machine. Or you could get down on your hands and knees and scrub your floor clean, but most people choose to use a broom and a mop. Different day, same shirt. So I thought of two other things that I wanted to add. This next one is a little out of the box because we don't have anything like it in the US. So it definitely took me by surprise. G-A-Z. Before we even arrived here, we had a bunch of letters in our mailbox requesting money from these people. First of all, they addressed them to Mr. Allison and after many failed attempts by my husband to get them to change it, they still haven't. So what is it? This money funds public radio and television. It is an added fee for purely having a radio or TV or vehicle because it has a radio in it. Nowadays, they say that anybody who lives anywhere probably has a TV or a radio. So you have to pay this fee that feels more like a tax. Before this though, it sounds like they were beyond creepy. They would peep into your residence to try to spot a TV or a radio or vehicle. They would prey on homes with children trying to go there when the parents weren't home, hoping they would have an easier time getting access. So they would knock on the door and try to just invite themselves in just for a minute, just to look around. Then they would leave and a few weeks later you would get a bill in the mail. The bill would say, hey, we know that you have a TV, radio, or vehicle, so you owe us money. Currently it's about 20 euros a month. 
I have heard so many things about German efficiency and have even made references to it myself. However, with the hours of operation, I don't quite understand how they get things done. Work ethic is very different. Federally regulated, there is a 41 hour work week. This is in all of Europe. I'm not saying that one is right or wrong or anything, I am just observing. From an American standpoint, I'm going to tell you how it appears as an American moving to Germany. You try to call a place when they first open and they don't answer. They continue to not pick up. You keep dialing. Before you know it, it's 1 p.m. and they close for three hours. What are they doing? Eating lunch? Doing paperwork? Nobody knows. Bam, it's 4 p.m. They've gone for the day. This is especially frustrating when you are working during the day and have to find time for you yourself to call during this very small window of time. This is also frustrating when you have two different agencies that need to talk to each other so the questions and answers keep getting pushed to the next day, the next day, the next day. Then, oh, what's that? They're on vacation for the next two weeks. Oh, and then after that, who else is on vacation? The other agency for the next three weeks. This may not happen all the time, but has been the case with multiple agencies so far. So again, I'm not complaining about Germany. I'm just observing things that as an American coming over here, a lot of people have asked what's been different, what are challenges, and these things are things that I just simply don't understand. All right, those are the things that confuse me about Germany. What about you? If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around. Cheers!